Hello, I'm Lee Habu, and this is my submission for Stardew's Marriage Percent for Summer Games Done Quick 2020. Before I get into the run, I need to explain a few things. The first bit is some speed tech that I'll be using right away, known as animation cancelling. Animation cancelling is a three button input after every swing that allows us to cancel out of the previous animation, getting into the next animation as fast as possible. The second is uh, the farm layout that we select. You're going to notice that we are actually in the co-op menu instead of the solo menu. The reason for this is because uh, when you select separate cabin layouts and make two, uh, two extra cabins spawn by default on the forest map, there's a cabin that spawns very far south near the southern entrance to Cedar Sap Forest, allowing us to get to Shane faster. Shane is the candidate that we are going to marry. He is by far the fastest and the easiest one to marry, so speed is the name of the game. Other than, other than uh, the female gender, which we do need to select because of the extra 500 gold that we get in the mail, everything else here can be customized for donation incentives or anything. We have the choice between three different breeds of either a cat or a dog, and, or, uh, and later we have the ability to either keep the animal or save the frames. Uh, other than that, name can be name, character, look can all just be whatever. Other than that, I believe we can get into the run. Uh, we're going to start out real quick here. We're going to pick up our parsnips and only water two of them. The reason that we only water two of them is due to the fact that we only need two uh, parsnips to gift to Shane early. So we're trying to leave the rest of the parsnips available to just get hit by rain. Rain will uh, just naturally grow up the parsnips, and we don't have to worry about crows eating our crops because crows don't spawn until we have more than 15, uh, more than 15 crops planted, and we only have 15. So now we're going to be sleeping straight to the 11th, and praying that we get three total rain days during this time. The third of spring will always rain, so we technically only need two. It is an 18.3% chance that we get a rain day every single day here, so. We're just hoping. If we don't, we do have to just go out and water. It's only about a six second time loss per uh, water that we have to do. So we're just praying that we get rain here. I will have to go out on the 9th and the 10th if I don't have a uh, rain day. We got one rain day, so now we're hoping for another one. I'll go out on the 10th if I don't get another rain day. And we got both rain days. Nice. So now we're going to proceed. We're going to harvest both of our uh, parsnips and water the remaining so that these uh, finish growing since we have time today. We're going to slowly gather wood. We're going to need a grand total of 850 wood throughout this entire run for a few things that will allow us to marry. And we're going to head all the way down south to our uh, cabin that we have spawned for us that I mentioned in the starting menu. We want to get down here as fast as possible. We're just going to clear uh, debris that's in our way to make our uh, crab travels quicker. And we're going to go and wait for Shane to come out of his house at a little after 710. I'm a little early, but that is fine. You can see the animation canceling so far. You, for people who have just played this game, they can easily tell how much faster I am swinging compared to the normal swing speed. But yeah, NPCs have a set schedule in this game. So we basically know where Shane is going to be at all times. So uh, we can just follow like a basic route and just a basic uh, gifting uh, route to get him to enough friendship points. We have to get uh, Shane to 10 hearts, which is uh, how friendship is determined. Each heart represents 250 friendship points. And depending on the quality of the gift and if the NPC loves it, we'll give a different amount of friendship points. Parsnips are light gifts for Shane, so they only give, uh, I believe it's 45 friendship points each. And then every time you talk to him, you gain another 20 friendship points. But later on, we're going to give him a loved gift which will give him 80 friendship points, and we will further increase it by giving him a quality version of it, which will give us bonus friendship points. 
Other than that, we're just taking the mornings here when we're waiting for Shane to come out of his house to just collect wood. Again, we need 850 wood total here. So now it's about 7, so we're going to start heading down and gift him our second parsnip. After this, we're going to be sleeping until the 18th because you can only gift NPCs twice a week, which is a limitation. You do get bonus friendship points if you gift an NPC twice in the given week. So we do want to make sure that we're doing that every time we can. Uh, on top of that, every day that we don't talk to Shane, he actually loses friendship points with us. So we we have we have the entire friendship uh friendship point system routed, so we don't really have to worry about it. But it's just a couple side things that I would like to mention. So we're going to sleep to the 18th here, and then we're going to pick up a salmon berry, which is also another liked gift. But uh, we just we want to water the least amount of uh, parsnips as possible, so that's why we only water two, and we can just pick up a parsnip on the 18th. We're getting a decent amount of rain. We don't need any more. The parsnips up top are already fully grown, so I don't need to worry about that. We will be going back and picking those up later. It's just slow to get it now. Here's our salmon berry. Uh... Yeah. More tree chopping. This is basically what we're doing every morning. We're trying to optimize the uh, mornings uh, that we're waiting for Shane to come out of his house with uh, wood collection or just whatever else uh, we need to do. Uh, you're also going to notice that I'm going to be picking up mix seeds as we go. We're going to be using these in spring or in uh, summer. Summer is a. Uh, very important season for this run because we're going to be growing one of Shane's loved gifts known as uh, hot peppers to make money to make the money that we need for this run and uh, to produce the gifts that we need to give to him. We're just going to wait out his door like any other normal person does to the person that they want to marry. Just wait outside their door at 7 a.m. every day. No, nothing unusual here at all. So we're going to go and sleep. Shane has a birthday on the 20th. And if you give an NPC a birthday gift on the 20th, there is a uh, uh, er, uh, friendship multiplier on the gift. So we want to give him a loved gift on the 20th. Ooh, it's raining. So this is uh, generally really bad. This will lose us a bunch of time if it's raining on this day because we have to go out of our way to visit Shane. Because his schedule changes depending on the rain. It's an 18% chance that this happens, but it's totally fine. I just have to walk out of my way for him. So this would be the section where uh, we either keep the cat or lose the cat. Or keep the pet or lose the pet. Pretty quick into the run. We're going to empty our inventory here. And we are going to begin forging. I'm just looking for quick forge over on the right hand side. And this is the reason that we selected the forest map for those wondering. Uh, on the left side of the forest map, there's going to be a huge forgeable area with these stumps here. And we're going to be using this forge early game to make money. Uh, there are multiple different routes that we can choose depending on the amount of money we have. This looks to be on the lower end, but we might be able to make it work as long as we get a couple spawns up north. Uh, but there's two basic strategies that we can do. One's much easier than the other. other. One is Shane's love gift, since uh, he's kind of an alcoholic, is a uh, is a beer that we're going to be buying from Gus today. The two strategies revolve around either getting two beer or four beer. If we're, a if we're managed to able to pay for four beer, which is twice as expensive, which we need uh, 1,600 gold instead of 800 gold, uh, we can skip out on a gifting day later. But if we don't have the money, we can easily just resort back to doing two beer. It's going to be a little bit slower, but it's only like a it's only like a minute slower, so it's not too bad. Other than that, we're going to be spending the rest of our energy on uh, wood, on trees, just to gather wood. 850 total will be our number. We already used 50, so we only need 800 at this point. We're going to be using another 50 on a scarecrow. Uh, 450 on the house upgrade and 350 on the bridge repair. We have 20 energy left, so I can't even chop down a full tree. So I'm just going to nab a little guy. 
couple little guys here. Clear this out. And we want to get as close to zero as possible without, uh, without going under. Otherwise, uh... Otherwise, we'd get exhausted and uh, start walking slowly. That was a bad menu. So we're just going to check the bus stop area for forge here. Super quickly. Looks like we got decent forge. Nothing special, though. Okay, we got all six. In each given area besides the farm and the beach, there is a cap of the amount of forge that can spawn in a given area. The bus stop is six. Most areas are six, but there's a few exceptions like the beach and uh the farm so uh we did get all six from the bus stop there and each area has their own like what they can spawn like up north here can only spawn leeks and horseradishes ideally we want horseradishes because we want to turn all our forge into uh spring seeds which sell for more than just selling each forge individually it takes one of uh every spring forge so dandelion daffodil leek and a horseradish to make uh 10 seeds and they sell they sell for more profit than just selling the four of them raw so we're trying to make as many pairs as we can which uh we're making a lot of pairs so it all comes down to how many daffodils we have that's our uh throughput error and luckily for us the only the only forest that can spawn in the big town area is daffodils so if we're lucky enough we'll find six up uh up at the top area here if not, we just need a few. We can cap out at five, because then uh, horseradishes are going to be our limiter. But we just want to make as many pairs as we can. Three. Hopefully we can just find one more. And then we can clear our inventory. We have to wait. We have to uh, wait until 12 anyways, because the saloon or the bar doesn't open until uh. 12, which is where we buy our beer today. Where it looks like we're going to be able to go for beer with the amount of money we have. Dang, I was hoping to find. Oh, there it is. Nice. All right, cool. Take 50 of those, and we are going to go into Pierre's and sell it so we can uh, make beer or buy, buy what we need. All right, just a couple shift right clicks. It sells half the stack just super quickly. And now I'm going to check the garbage cans because you can get some pretty good goodies out of there. You can get cookies or bread, which is 240 gold for the cookies, 50 gold for the bread. And then you can also get something as expensive as like 500 gold in Gus's garbage can if it's a uh, pink cake. But it has a very big range. You can also just find garbage, which throws stuff into your inventory, which is a pretty big pain. But if you couldn't tell already, this game works kind of on a uh, clock or a timing system with uh, shops opening at specific times, NPCs on specific schedules. So uh, uh, it works on 10 minute uh, intervals. Each of those 10 minutes are seven real life seconds. So that's basically what we're working with. And we're trying to reduce the amount of time that we're outside as possible. Again, generally, we would go south here if it was a non-rainy day because Shane would just be walking outside by now. But since it's a rainy day, he's on his work schedule. So he's at Jojo Mart right now, uh, stocking shelves. So we're just going to give him uh, alcohol on his job and then just go and pass out right next to him. He'll carry us home. Don't worry about it. When you pass out, you wake up with less than uh, max energy. And on top of that, you lose 10% of the current gold that's on you. But since we have such little gold on us, we only lose like 20, 30 gold. So I don't have to worry about it. We don't lose that much. So now we're going to sleep until the 23rd. Because uh, we can only gift uh, Shane twice a week. And that was our second uh, gift that week. So we have to switch to the next week, which will be uh, the 23rd here. Uh, the weeks in this game for, uh, gifting actually resets on Sundays. Not, uh, not Mondays. So it is a little bit late, but the reason, er, there, there's really no reason that we don't do the 23rd or 20, uh, or the 22nd. It really doesn't make a big difference. We have to do the Monday or, uh, Tuesday time, though. The reason for that is because 
Jane does his work schedules Monday through Fridays, but not on Saturdays and Sundays. So we would either have to go on the 22nd or the 23rd. It doesn't make a difference, but we do do that. So now we're just going to uh, give Shane beer. Beer is a loved gift for Shane. So we'll get uh, we'll get 80 friendship points per gift here. And I mentioned before, gifting uh, gifts on, on a birthday does give a uh, multiplier. It's an 8 times multiplier. So uh, instead of giving 80 points for the beer on his birthday, it gave 640 friendship points, which is uh, over two, two and a half. It's about two and a half friendship points here. So next thing, we're going to do a little uh, exploit here that not a lot of people know about. Where uh, fest this is a festival day, and this festival is the uh, uh, the flower dance, and it generally takes place in the south area. And uh, whenever there's a uh, a festival in a given area, the game doesn't let you in there till the festival is ready. But the festival doesn't actually load up until 6:10 a.m. So if you can manage to get to the area before 6:10 on any festival area, you can just walk in and it's like any other event day or any other day. Uh, the easiest way to do this, or this is the only like non-beach event you can do, but the easiest way how you can exploit this is on beach events. If you have a beach warp totem, which takes you to the beach instantly, you can just teleport first thing in the morning and then uh, just pop on the beach super quickly. But uh, since we have the house at the very south of the farm, we can actually get down here and give him an extra gift on the stay before the festival. And then we're just going to walk up and then walk back down. We will be going to the festival today. This is one of the only uh, categories in the game that actually does the festival. And the reason for that is if you dance with somebody at the festival, um, first off, you need four hearts. So there's not many NPCs that you can have uh, four hearts with at this point. Uh, the lone exceptions are mainly Haley and Shane. Uh, it gives a full uh, friendship point. So basically, we're giving him a gift, which is half a friendship point. And then we're giving, uh, then we're dancing with him, which is a full uh, heart. So it's basically the equivalent of giving him three gifts today, which is insane. It's a very uh, productive day. I'm using I'm using the rest of this day to clear out the area that we're going to be placing uh, our crops in in summer, uh, and uh, to gather uh, mixed seeds. Ideally, we want around about 30 mixed seeds. We're pretty low. We want like 30, 35. I only have it till nine. That's when the festival opens, so I really need to start moving down now. I only have seven seconds at this point. So we're gonna be a hair late, but that's fine. I'd rather get my explanations through and get the mixed seeds because the mixed seeds are going to save us money later when you plant a mixed seed it uh it has a chance of being a random crop uh out of like a selection of like three or four depending on the season and uh we're going to be planting that in in summer and the crop that we want from it is a hot pepper because we're going to be planting hot peppers so each hot pepper that we get from a mix seed is one less hot pepper seed we have to buy from Pierre because we need a total of 40. We can get away with less, but it will take the run will take a little bit longer. But the ideal amount is 40. We should have the money in the forge for it. So uh, this is the flower dance. We don't dance with every, everybody else and we don't even get a dress. This is the most awkward uh, dance there is. You know, just... Yeah, uh, you can tell that I'm not not from this town. But yeah, we're getting a uh, free heart with Shane, so I can't complain. Other than that, uh, this will be it for spring. Uh, we're just going to be going home after this, sleeping and uh, sleeping until summer because we got nothing else to do in spring because we can't do any more gifts at this point. Uh, this would probably be a good time for, like, a quick donation or two, since we're just sleeping until in summer for these next couple of days. Uh, yeah. So now that we're in summer, we are going to prep the area that we need 
for uh, the 40 hot peppers today. Which is just going to be the left of the farm. We're going to have to clear our inventory and put stuff that we need for crafting. I'm going to do some quick animation canceling with the hoe super quickly. Out of the way because that debris can actually destroy crops if they get close enough and grow over the crops where the tall grass that you see on the left actually doesn't destroy crops so i rather have the tall grass next to my crops than have the debris gonna face this way, so we're gonna make that we're gonna make 40 fertilizer i made two extra on accident that is fine we're just shift clicking to make five at a time Instead of menuing, I can just do that. And now we're going to plant the mixed seeds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Got seven poppers. You can tell based off of the this seed, the look of the seed. Generally, we're looking for ten, but I had a low amount of uh, mixed seeds, so that kind of makes sense. All right, now we're going to go off. Now we're gonna head off to Pierre's and buy the remaining, or buy the remaining uh, hot peppers that we need. Again, I had seven total, so I need to buy 33. Uh, I need to buy 33 hot peppers. We're also gonna take advantage of this day and give Shane a gift. He will be walking by. Uh, He'll be walking by the store at about this time, so it's just a quick little gift as we go. A little sneaky one. We talk to him. We do talk to him after every single gift. The reason for that is it gives us an extra 20 friendship points. So, we have that. So, yeah. Now we're going to buy the 33 seeds after we sell everything. And we have a leftover, about 368. That's a little on the low side, but it's fine. As you can see, every hot pepper that we get from the mixed seed saves us 40 gold. So ideally, we would have only had to buy about 30, and then I would have had an extra 120 gold, making us closer to about 500, which is where I would like to be. But uh, there, we are fine. We can just pick up extra forge in fall or summer. To make up for that money. So now we're just going to plant them. And we're going to be doing something very weird. We're not going to be watering these every day. If we water uh, the hot peppers every day. We're going to get a total of 8 harvests. Uh, with 40 hot peppers. We only need about. Uh, we only need 6 harvests. So I can skip a total of seven sunny days without any repercussion. I am going to have to write this down on notes because I'm trying to talk and get my thought process out and remember how many days I've skipped and how many harvests I've done. That is a really good early rain day. That is one rain. I do like to mark down how many rain days I've gotten. So I've skipped two sunny days here so far. I can skip the first two sunny days uh, super early because I'm not gifting Shane anytime this week since I don't have anything to gift him with and I'm waiting for the hot peppers to be done They take six uh, watering days for them to finish for their first round and then they repeat every three days So I just want them to finish up on the Monday, which is the first day I can gift Shane since it's uh, his work schedule day If we get one rain day before the eighth, I'm I'm generally pretty happy uh, the world record for this run has like eight to, or it has like nine or ten rain days in it. So it's a very optimal run in that sense, since each rain day has uh, a pretty low odds in general. So getting that many rain days is pretty insane. That's generally what the time difference for this category is: is who has gotten the most rain days. So that that's going to be like what makes this category take longer than it should. Because each, each and every rain day that we get, we don't have to go outside and water. 
Sure, watering's pretty fast with animation canceling, but it's all uh, it's all about just getting as many rain days as we possibly can get. All right, we're on harvest number one. Okay. All right, since it's not raining, we are going to gift Shane today. On any on days that it's raining, ideally we don't want to gift Shane because that's a waste of a day that we could just be sleeping instantly. So that is the entire goal. So since I have to go out and harvest this day, um, I do want to uh, give Shane, especially since it's sunny. I do want to fill up my inventory with uh, seeds here. The reason for that is because I don't have to menu out. That is really annoying. I generally drop off my pickaxe because I don't need it at this point, but I had really bad debris spawn there. That's just in my way. So I had to go back and get it. So we're just back to the same normal schedule, waiting outside of Shane's house at uh, 7.10, waiting for him to go to work, handing him a nice little hot pepper. Uh, hot peppers is his uh, love gift, which will give the most friendship points of 80. But on top of that, we're gifting him gold quality hot peppers, which gives him uh, an extra 20 friendship points every time. Because uh, the quality of the product gives it a small little bonus. Oh, we got a nice rain day. Cool. Got two rain days. All right. Uh, we're not... We are not going to... Uh, gift Shane on this day. The reason for that is because I know 100% that tomorrow is not going to rain. Because tomorrow is a festival day, I know it's not going to rain, so I don't... I can just do a quick water and uh, leave. I'm also going to get a harvest tomorrow. So, uh, that's... Going and gifting Shane on harvest days are more optimal than gifting them on non-harvest days. Because it takes a little bit more time to harvest the hot peppers. So that little extra time we're using uh, for waiting for Shane instead of just waiting to go to bed. Instead. Again, we're just praying for rain days. Summer's a little weird in rain day percentages. It actually starts out at a lower number. It doesn't, it's not a flat 18% chance. 18.3% chance in summer. It starts out at a 13 and slowly ramps up in summer. It starts at a 13 and then gets up to a 20% at the very end. There's also two special days in summer, which is the 13th and the 26th. Both of those days are guaranteed rain days. Guaranteed thunderstorm days to be specific. There's two different types of rain. Thunderstorm days and rain days in this game. Doesn't matter to us, we just need it to rain. So we are routed around that. So we're gonna use another skip tomorrow if it's not raining. If it is raining tomorrow, we are going to uh, skip other days. Generally doesn't rain tomorrow, so I don't have to worry about it. Oh, and it's raining. All right, well, we're up to four rain days already. I gifted twice this week already. We're going to have a harvest day on the 14th, so even if it's raining today, I still have to go outside. I'm still only at two skips, so I still have five more available to me. Sadly, I can't give Shane on this day. Because it's a Sunday. So it's slightly unoptimal, but uh, just getting the rain day is godly. And above itself. Alright. Sunny day. We're just going to use this to give Shane. I, we ideally want to give Shane on the first Monday and Tuesday. And just have it not rain. 
Because the odds of us, like, getting rain days on every day but harvest days and then gifting chain on those select few days is very minuscule. So whenever we have just a non-rain day, we just try to instantly gift Shane. Okay, this is going to be one of those instances where I was talking about having, uh, having the tree seeds is beneficial. So instead of having to open up my inventory, which pauses the time to wait for uh, Shane to come out, uh, I can just place the seed instantly and then pick up the item that I want. Gonna clear out the farm a little bit to back it off. A little bit of time save. We're gonna go back to hot peppers. Enough. All right. First gift of the Shane this week. We are basically gifting Shane every day from this week outwards. Uh, no more like skipping weeks. Twice a week. Love gift every time. So on and so forth. Wow. Okay. This is going to be a very good run. I can tell you that already. I'm basically at the point where I, I don't care if it rains or not anymore. Because I still have, uh, I still, I'm still able to skip five days. This is going to be another one of those instances where I just throw that down. I can still skip five more uh, sunny days. Because I'm at. Uh, harvest of 40. One, two, one, three, four. We're at four harvests, so we just need two more harvests. We're going to be a little late here to Shane. Got caught up. Basically right on time. Um, yeah. Because I still have five more skip days. We're at four harvest, so we only need two more. So the next time I have to harvest is actually the 25th. Uh, I harvest the 25th and the 28th. I can basically just skip every day from here on out. We're at one water total. Three skips. Four skips. Five. Six. All right, we get one more skip at this point. We're going to do the gift today. Our wood count is pretty good. It's not fantastic, but it's definitely not low. No matter what, this is going to be a very good run. Because we're guaranteed six rain days at this point. So no matter what, it's going to be a very, very good run for summer. There is a slight bit of RNG that's going to happen at the very end of the run. This is what I mean by going out of my way for extra forge. Uh, where we do need a rain day on a specific date for this, uh, for this run to work. And if not, we just have to go out on that day and gift chain that item. Or gift chain on that day. And then we wait for another rain day later. But that would basically, that would uh, make or break a very good run at that point. Other than that, we are on very good pace. Alright, since it's sunny, I'm just going, I'm going out. So these are actually going to be done tomorrow. Alright, we're 
we're going to use this day to go to the left here. There's going to be a bunch of forge just like there was in spring that we just want to uh, pick up here super quickly. Finish that. That up. That's, that's gold quality. That. I should have picked up those grapes since I was up there, but I'm scared that I'm going to be late. Yeah, we're going to be a little late here. I went greedy. Oh, I went very greedy. This is bad. I was just trying to play it safe for money for this run. Generally, I wouldn't go all the way up there. Yeah, now we're very late for Shane. We have to go all the way out of our way. It's going to lose us quite a bit of time. That was just me trying to play it super safe by picking up Forge, but I was- I, I just don't have the inventory for it. So again, we still have one more skip. I'm going to harvest tomorrow, even if it's raining. So I- ideally, this- uh, ideally, I just need it to rain one more time, and it's about a 20% chance for it to rain on the 25th or the 27th. Again, the 26th is a guaranteed rain day. So I just need it to rain one of those days, and then I can sleep the other one. You have to chain twice this week, so it's really just down to harvesting at this point. Hopefully we just get one of those. Then we get a total of seven rain days. Nope, not the 25th. 26th is going to rain. And 27th, please. Thick. Nice. Seven rain day. This could actually be very close to world record pace if I didn't make that slight mistake at the very end there. With running out of my way for Shane. Pretty good summer. Select the tailor perk. It's going to make our uh, hot peppers sell for a little bit more, 10% more. And we're going to sleep to the, the fourth here. The reason we're sleeping till the fourth is because Shane's at eight hearts right now. Once a marriage candidate hits eight hearts, uh, their friendship stops decaying. And... Uh, and during that time, uh, you can't really increase their friendship by, uh, much more. You can't go to the next heart without giving them a bouquet, which we have to buy from, uh, here today. So basically, we're waiting until Thursday on purpose here. So, uh, the friendship, uh, has the least amount of time to decay before we can gift next. Because we're gonna gift Thursday, Friday, and then, uh, we just need to give him one more gift on either a rain day on sunday or ideally a rain day on uh on the monday the reason it needs to rain is because one of the requirements to get married in this game is you need a mermaid's pendant which costs 5,000 gold is only sold on a rainy day so basically you have a one day you have a two day time frame to get a good luck day for this uh, run to finish in a world record pace setting, which is very tight RNG. We are also just going to empty our inventory here pretty quickly. I'm also going to give uh, you guys a slight seizure warning. I'm going to be spam opening mail here. And uh, yeah, it doesn't really look pretty sometimes. Uh, basically, when you, uh, gain hearts with NPCs, they start gifting you stuff in the mail. And since we slept a bunch of days, Shane's kind of just gifted us a bunch of week-old pizzas and pepper poppers. We ideally want at least three pepper poppers. Two is good enough. And as many pizzas as we can get, because each pizza sells for 300 gold. And any extra hot pepper sells for, uh, 200 gold. So we got more we got more pepper poppers than what we know what to do with so we're going to sell half of that and then we're basically just going to sell everything else we're kind of just at like a dead point until uh 
until uh, 9 a.m., which is when the shops open. So this would probably be a nice time for the donations. Yeah. The the reason we want the pepper poppers is because it gives a uh, plus one speed buff, which makes us move faster, if you couldn't tell. So that's the main reason we want the extra pepper poppers for the move speed, because we're going to be running around a lot today. And on the next couple of days, when we're waiting. So now we're going to sell our inventory. We're going to keep two hot peppers. And we have perfect amount of money after I get that. Our money is perfect. So at this point, we need a total of 15,000 gold. The reason we need 15,000 gold is because another requirement to getting married is a house upgrade, which we're going to buy today for 450 wood and uh, 10,000 gold from Robin, the carpenter. And then we still need another 5,000 for the mermaid's pendant. So you're probably wondering where you're going to get the extra 500 gold or 1,000 gold. Uh, this is when the female character comes into play. Uh, if you select a female character, you'll get 500 gold from your mom and 500 gold from your dad. If you select a male character, you'll get cookies from your mom and uh, 500 gold from your dad. So uh, after you've reached a certain amount of money uh, earned total, which we're going to reach here. So, basically, we get an extra 500 gold for playing as a female in this situation. Which then puts us over the line here. And we got an extra pizza. Thank you, Shane. Um, which puts us over the line of being able to uh, buy the mermaid's pendant. And I also love the fact that it has rained the past four days. And you know for sure that it's not going to rain on the 7th or the 8th here. You know for a fact that I won't get that RNG. And it has rained the past four days in a row. So now at this point, we're just waiting for Shane to come out. We have all the wood we need. We only need 300 more for the bridge repair. Uh, let me eat the pepper popper because of move speed buff to walk home. So right now we have to gift the bouquet first. Otherwise, uh, he would reach the friendship cap before, uh, uh if we give him the pepper fur first, he'll reach the friendship cap he can gain before you make him your boyfriend by giving him a, uh, bouquet. So, uh, yeah. We do have to get him to 10 hearts, or we also won't be able to buy the uh, the pendant. That You have to get the, or the marriageable candidate uh, NPC to 10 hearts before you can buy the pendant. So that's, like, what we've been doing this entire time. Alright. Now we're hoping for rain. Nice sunny day. And... Nice sunny day. Alright. It rained every single day beforehand. And, uh, yeah. Nice. So, now we're gonna have to go out an extra day. We're going to have to gift Shane the hot pepper today and talk to him. He's gonna hit ten hearts. We're gonna sleep until the next rain day. And then we're going to get the mermaid's pendant. Uh, give it to him. Sleep three days. And then we're gonna get the wedding ceremony. And, uh, after the kiss is the entire run. So, ideally, we get the rain day on the 7th or the 8th. If not, we do have a backup here, but uh, at this point, this would probably be a nice amount of time to uh, fill in with donations. Because this is basically the end of the run. It's a big RNG fest for getting uh, a perfect time, but it's a very consistent run uh, after that. You can consistently finish, it's just... Uh, It's just uh, getting the perfect uh, rain days is the hard part. Anyways. Uh, yeah. The reasons that I think uh, Stardew would be a great fit for GDQ is not only has it never been run at a GDQ, uh, Stardew has a very dedicated fan base. And... Uh, a very dedicated fan base with a very dedicated community. Stardew has just recently hit uh, 10 million copies sold. And uh, would 
uh, would be a great addition for like a really chill segment of the run. I still don't have a rain day. It's an 18% chance right now. We're just waiting for one rain day. There is a possibility that I don't get a rain day before the end of fall, but the odds of that happening are super slim, even though I basically got all the rain day that I should get at the very beginning. Come on. Oh, man. We got really good summer rain RNG and really weird fall rain RNG. Let's see. There it is. All right. Only took 21 days. A little unfortunate, but it does happen. All right. So we're going to repair the bridge on the beach to get to the, to the right-hand side. We're going to buy the mermaid's pendant and ask Shane out. Or ask Shane to marry us, and then that will be the run. Soggy little pizza for him, too. Nice little soggy pizza. Work on this. There's gonna be a little... There's gonna be an old man here just selling us, uh... Selling us magical mermaid pendants. Beautiful little thing. And Shane's gonna be walking out of his house about right now. So we're just going to meet him halfway there and then just walk and sleep for uh, three days. It's a very simple and easy run to get the hang of. There's a lot of memory and praying for RNG. Pretty simple, though. A little drive-by. He says he'll prep everything so we don't have to worry about it. That's fine with me. I don't want to do anything more than I have to. And, yeah, pretty good to run. I'll take that. One, two, and three. Oh, another rain day. We're going to go a little ceremony with the entire town that we have no idea who any of these people are because we have only talked to Shane. He said hi to Robin and hi to uh, Pierre once, but other than that, uh, yeah, that is a Stardew marriage percent. Thank you for considering Stardew as a uh, GDQ submission, and I hope you have a great day. Take care.